Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different, back with another video brought to you by the guys at Musician Goods, your one stop shop for everything production. They have merch, they have kits, they have templates, they have instruments, they have everything you need to get yourself right and get yourself looking good for the previous community. So, yeah, definitely check them out. Link will be in the description below. But, yeah, I'm back with another video. You guys really enjoyed the last video, and I heard that there's a lot of good feedback from my last video. So, I'm here once again to bring you guys some more videos. But, like I said, if there's anything you want me guys to show you, anything like that, leave it in the comments. They will relay that to me, and I'll make sure that i make a video for you guys now today i'm gonna teach you guys some simple tricks with your 808s as far as 808 slides and glides like that because uh, that was a pretty common question you know it's something that a lot of people want to know how to do how to really get more control out of their 808 to so do this kind of cool pitch bends and glides like that so i'm gonna show you a few little quick tricks and tips to kind of get that sound right there quick and easy ain't gonna take a lot of time so let's get right to it so here we are inside of fs studio here's a little beat i was working on last night it's unmixed so please excuse the volume i'll probably i'll make sure that i limit it so it's not too loud but let's listen to it and i'll go into the 808 and talk about how i got them slides and bends and stuff like that pretty simple and easy so here we go <music> So if you couldn't hear the 808s, I'm going to go ahead and solo them so we can actually hear them. So here they are. So I'm going to teach you guys how to get those 808 slides pretty quick, pretty easy. So let me go ahead and grab the same 808 real quick and we'll just toss it in there again. And then we're just going to go ahead and copy the pattern real quick. So it's the same pattern. And then now, this is what your 808s probably sound like when you first drag an 808 in. Oh, well, actually, they don't sound with the slides. So we take the slide notes out. And I'll show you how to do all these glide notes. Because it's pretty simple and pretty easy. So, you know, if you got an 808, this is what it probably sound like. So when you first add an 808 in, you can see it's already acting crazy. So let's go ahead and control the 808s first, and then we'll go ahead and get to how to do the 808 slides. So the quickest and easy way to do it, and there's three ways of actually doing it. I'm gonna show you all three ways. Is if it's called cut itself or truncate in your 808s. Now it's pretty easy, pretty simple, especially in FL Studio. That's what I like about FL Studio. You just right click, and if you get right, go right here where it says cut itself, that's pretty much gonna automatically truncate it. Now there is another way to get to cut itself. It's in if you click inside of the fruity wrapper and go right here. Here to this little wrench icon and then right here just click cut itself you click it one time and then it'll cut itself by itself and then now you have now instead of it overlapping with the next 808 it's going to cut off when another note is triggered basically turn it into like a mono legato type thing uh, another way that a lot of people like doing it is called is another way to truncate it is to go into the adsr right here Go to your volume, and it's pretty simple. You want to turn the attack down, the decay down, the sustain down, the release down, and turn the hold all the way up. And so it should look just like this. This middle one should be the only one turned all the way up. Now, when you hit a note, so if I go up in here and hit a note, I'm using the you know, keyboard. As you can hear, when you let go of that note, it's gonna cut it off right away. That's another way people like doing it. I like that kind of effect, because if you're doing like some, you know, the old Zay Tobin style of 808 like that, that's a good way of doing it right there if you wanna go with that kind of quick, kind of choppy, kind of cut off right before the hi-hat or uh, the snare and stuff like that type of 808. So definitely do it right there. So now you know how to truncate and cut itself. Now let's get into actually doing an 808 glass, which is super simple inside of FS Studio. Now the old way of doing it, I used to do it back in the day, was if you go right here, you turn on Porto, and you turn on Mono, and you just mess with the slide notes. Now when you actually put in another note, let's say above here, it'll kind of slide to it. You know, and that's kind of cool because you kind of, you know, hold it out. But it's not really that effective, like, you know, anymore. So I wouldn't personally do that way. But that is one way to do it. Just turn on Porto, Mono, and then mess around with the slide. And that's how much it's going to slide to the next note. That's the speed. That's one way to do it. That's the old way of doing it, you know, back whenever, you know, back out using FL 10 and 11, it's like that. <laughs> so now the easier way to do it is to pretty much make a note. So we're just making it right here. And then we'll just double click it. And right here, this is basically a slide note. So when you click that, hit accept. Now it has a slide note. And another a little quick trick, if you click it and anytime you press again, it'll make more slide notes. So that's a little cool trick right there. But let's say if you don't want a slide note, just double click it and it uncheck that. It's no longer a slide note. 
So now, basically what it means is it's going to go from the G sharp right here, and it's going to slide up here to this uh, note right here. And depending on how long it actually is, it's going to depend on how long the slide is. So if it's like this fast, it'd be like... See how it just kind of ramps up? And if it's like here, it'll slide faster. Or, you know, you can hold that even longer. So you do some pretty cool slide notes techniques right there. And another thing I like to do is like to put a slide note that goes up and then make another one that goes right back down to the original key. So it kind of slides up and back down. You know, you can do, you can pretty much play around with it. And slide the different notes and all that kind of stuff to get some pretty good slides and all that. And you can get really, really crazy with it. So that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple and easy to, you know, get control of your 808s, both cutting itself and also adding slides in there. says multiple ways of doing everything, but at the same time, you get different results depending on which way you do. So, you know, hopefully you take these techniques, you put them into play, and then, you know, you get these cool slide notes, you know, especially with all your percussion in there, you get these, you know, dope melodies. It's a pretty good melody. So, hope you guys enjoy. Like always, y'all know who it is. Your boy Slim, aka Miss Different, not motivated by the money, but the like, comments, and views. Hope you guys enjoy. If you like the video, thumb it up. Leave a comment down below on what you guys want to see next, and Musician Goods will relay that to me, and I will make videos for you guys. So, with that being said, I will catch you guys in next video. Yeah, have a good one, everybody. Yeet!